Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to Keegan's Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to start your personal chef business with no out-of-pocket costs to you. Now, this video is for anyone that has a passion for food and you're thinking about starting your own you know, personal chef business or catering business. This is definitely the video for you today, all right? A personal chef business could be very lucrative. Uh, once you put in the work, the money and the opportunity will definitely come your way. So this video is for anyone that has a passion for food and you know thinking about starting their own business in the future as far as catering business, private chef, or something in that same you know field, then this video is definitely for you. Just so you know, uh, a personal chef is someone who cooks for multiple clients versus a private chef. On the other hand, they only cook for one client. You know, they're usually hired by that one client full time. So um, working as a personal chef, you are more flexible, you have more time on your hand. As a personal chef, you'll be able to create meals for busy families, anniversaries, birthday parties, and different type of events. Uh, anywhere there's a kitchen, a personal chef will come and create a delicious meal for you. Before you get started with anything, you wanna figure out what your specialty is, right? You wanna figure out what you're good at making, what your strong point is. Will you be just cooking for corporate events, birthday parties, vacation, families, you know, it varies. Um, once you figure that out, um, then it's time to uh, move on to the next step. And the next step is to create your social media platform. Uh, you wanna create your Facebook, Instagram, and also your Google listing. Google listing is where all of the uh, potential clients will be finding you at. And it's pretty similar to um, Instagram, right? So you could post all your videos, pictures, or even a post, you can just write it on um, Google on your business listing page and it will pop up and all those uh, different clients, future clients that's searching for a personal chef in that area, you know, will be able to find you. Now, these are all, you know, free, free listings. So you, it's not going to cost you anything at all. These are just some of the few ways to market yourself and this is going to allow potential clients to find you online. Creating a partnership with other businesses online is also another way to market yourself and allow potential clients to find you as well. You're also going to need a website. Uh, most website builders, they usually offer something like a 7 or 14 days uh, free trial. Within this free trial, you know, you'll be able to post your menu, all the details, you know, your pricing and all that good stuff regarding your uh, business on that website. The next step is to complete all the paperwork, you know, that you're going to need to start your business. You know, for example, um, EIN number, LLC, you know, your business license and all the um, other paperwork that you're going to need. You need to fill that out, you know, and you should be good to go. All right, guys. So this is just the basics to get started as a personal chef. If you want to know more about, you know, the business ins and out, just leave a comment, send me an email and I'll be more than happy to help. Peace.